Hey everybody, this is Michael Pavlovich, and we've got an updated set of ZBrush videos for you. Before we get started, I want to mention that everything you're going to see from the models, recording, editing, and exporting of all that content was done on my AMD Ryzen Threadripper, provided to me by the very awesome folks over at AMD. Unit 1 of the 7 unit series is the playlist following this intro video. It's going to be 54 videos and counting, more than 6 hours of updated free content designed specifically to get you up and running in ZBrush 2018 and beyond. We start from the super basics of file management and navigation to geometry creation techniques and manipulation, masking, organic and hard surface sculpting, Sculptures Pro, all the way to plug-in installation, custom interface and menus, subtool and file size management, non-manifold geometry, and more. By the end of Unit 0, you'll be proficient in general ZBrush usage, and even at this early stage be able to create almost anything you want using basic ZBrush functionality. So if you're ready to get cracking, skip the rest of this video and click next to get started. But if you're still here, let's talk about the rest of the series. Now like I said, this is Unit 1 of a 7 unit series, so how do you get access to the next 6 units? First, you can come work for Certain Affinity, where all the content I've ever created is available to everybody, so apply now. If you can't do that, I also have a CG Master Academy class called ZBrush for Concept and Iteration, where we use these videos and some ancillary resources for a very intense six weeks of ZBrush content ideation. And the free Unit 1 following this video is actually a prerequisite to that course. Barring all that, I've decided to make this content more broadly available so you can find it for sale on my Gumroad, QBrush, and ArtStation pages. It's 259 videos and counting, almost 25 hours worth of comprehensive ZBrush 2018 instruction. If you want to peruse what's covered, you can find the content list in the description to this video. Here's the fairly straightforward overview of this course. First, like I've already mentioned, we get the basics under our belt in Unit 1. Next, we move on to quickly iterating on our ideas in the round with blockout ideation. Unit 2 is three and a half hours of all sorts of insert mesh fun, getting quick representative blockouts, both organic and hard surface. Then doing deep dives in not only insert mesh brushes, but curve brushes as well in this unit. We're going to talk about custom creation techniques. We're going to go over hard surface and organic examples, as well as numerous techniques on how to control your curves. And Unit 3 is all about 2D. As you can imagine, the vast majority of this content is going to cover 3D creation techniques. But there's a number of really excellent 2D tools built right into ZBrush. I also want to instill the idea that designing in 2D is a great way to supplement your 3D work and vice versa. Exploring options in 2D is going to allow you to design in a different light. It's going to help you see things that may not be obvious in 3D, and it helps you evaluate your decisions more effectively. To this end, we'll talk about how to match your blockout model using either the reference you provide using your new 2D skills or from externally provided concept. And now that we've got a good idea of what we're making, we're going to deep dive creation techniques over the next three units. Unit 4 is going to cover geometry creation and manipulation techniques that build on your previous blockout abilities. We're going to cover shadow box, Z spheres, Z sketching, extract, panel loops, retopology techniques, a lot of ground to not only be able to create new specific shapes quickly, but also update and refine your existing blockout geometry. Unit 5 builds on Unit 4. Now we're getting into live booleans and how they work in conjunction with other techniques in ZBrush, like array mesh, surface noise, curve brushes, and more. This is also where we discuss more detail-oriented brush options like the alpha and vector displacement brushes, Boolean-centric brushes, and how to flesh out and organize your own custom brushes so you can quickly and easily start adding complex surface detail to your newly refined meshes. Unit 6 will start out with a final refine pass on the organic meshes we've been using up to this point. We'll use facial topology as an example of a way to get your ZBrush assets usable for posing in the last unit, and in some cases even production ready, depending on what you want to use these assets for. Then we'll cover a number of UV options found within ZBrush, get into surfacing, essentially using surface noise in conjunction with noise maker, document tiling, custom alphas with document tiling, tiling with nano mesh and array mesh, tiling with plugins, all sorts of ways to achieve complex surface detail, which can be something as subtle as cloth weave or skin detail, all the way to making your own buildings, cities, or starships. We'll finish it all off with fiber mesh and a number of fun ways you can utilize that. 
Unit 7 is all about presentation. We'll start off with different techniques to get your meshes posed, then we'll head over to the rendering side of ZBrush to fine tune your final image or movie. These particular rendering videos you may recognize from my ZBrush 2018 image based lighting series because those are those videos. While the vast majority of this content is new, it does contain bits and pieces from previously created sources. What I try to do throughout this series is to point out extra resources you can check out for free if you want to deep dive feature sets, say with my What's New series sets, or see how these techniques are applied in different ways from my various project specific demos like the Sci-Fi Pistol series, or some of the projects I've tackled on my live streams. Now, since this is a ZBrush centric series, I don't really stray outside of ZBrush too often, but at the end of Unit 7, I take you through a number of different resources that are available, streaming, downloadable, often both, all of them using ZBrush as a companion resource. For example, Keyshot, Fusion 360, Substance Painter and Designer, Photogrammetry, Marvelous Designer, Houdini, and more. If you include all of these resources together with this one, you'll end up with hundreds of hours of interconnected content. Now, you may be asking, what about my previous Intro to ZBrush course? Frankly, there's nothing wrong with that series. In fact, if you watch that original series and supplement it with my YouTube channel for the new features, I think you'll be in fine shape. I'm not trying to bamboozle you into spending more money. Yes, we do cover new ground in the seven part series. Yes, it is updated for 2018 and beyond, but by all means, if you wanna save some money, get the older series and dive into my other resources. It won't be as organized, but you can still get by. So there's a ton of ground to cover and there's no time like the present to start. So dive in there and let's get exploring together.